just seen him at the gym. And he just telling me about Tank. You, you know what I'm talking about? Tank. Yeah, Javante. Nah. Uh, he was saying with them about him. He goes, he and uh, David did super good. But I have to tell you this right here. He did super good. But guess what I did? You messed someone against him? Huh? Did you put a, one of your fighters against Devin him? Devin Haney? Yes, I did. Who'd you put? Devin Haney? You better believe it. How did that go? How did it go? <laughs> Man, that, don't even ask the question. <laughs> it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't even worth asking because it was a one-way deal. This guy going to be the next guy? Yes. Devin. Go find my other man. Bring him over here. Go find my other man. The next champion I'm gonna make. That's the next Floyd, Joy, Mayweather Jr. I see you. While we're waiting for Devin, let me ask you this. Ishe Smith, he said he believes that Andre Berto is gonna do better than Manny Pacquiao did against Mayweather. What do you think? Well, Ishe, you know, well, I don't really want to say that. <laughs> Just bring him over here. Just bring him over here. So you, you you don't agree with him, or you or you or what? Hell no, I don't agree with him. Hell no. So you believe it's gonna be a smoke out? Mayweather against Berto. Hey, 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 look here. Let me tell you something. Berto might do that to him. Berto ain't finna do that to Floyd. Uh, what fight do you? We think? talking about the king and the queen. It's different. Floyd the king. Would you compare Berto? This, and this, oh, there goes this, Devin this young man right here, up, 16 years old, this is my next world champion. There's no doubt about it. How when, do those compliments make you feel? Right yeah, it makes me feel great being 16 to get compliments from Hall of Fame trainers. It's good. And not only that, he right now can whoop any of the fighters right now that's in some of the fighters in the top 10 now. He can beat them. You know, you see him just, how he did that rushing the other day? Tore him up. You know, and I'm saying, this rushing come in here and run everybody down. He didn't run him down. Let's talk about that fight, Devin. Uh, it, it was a good fight. I fought our uh, strong rushing uh, that, that signed Floyd. It, it was good work, but, you know, he, he was coming, but I was coming too. He, That's uh, right. Hard work is work. Hard work is easy work. This man right here, this man right here, look at him. He do just like Floyd. He can throw triple hooks, right hand, back to the body, back to the head, right hand, all day long. When, when did you know he was going to be special? How long ago? I, I was training him when he was about 10 years old. I was training this man when he was about 10 years old. He used to come down to the gym. and dad used to bring him down here. How old are you? So, 16. Was rated number one in the world, right? Rated number one in the world at 16, yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, so you knew since age 10? Well, I, I, I've, been, I've been messing with him since 10 years old, man. And, hey, and we, we, took, we, we, took a, we took a little laps. We took a little lap, and uh, we didn't see each other for a while, about two or three years. Then we, we come back here together. We're here now. And world champion is his next goal. What is it about Mayweather that makes him great? What is it? His producer, the skill, the defense, the effect of the defense? His work ethic. Well, you know, not only that, a lot of stuff that Mayweather got and doing, we're going to take some of that too. Mayweather, you know, him, we got to take the best of everybody and everything that they're doing. Hey, the best. Whatever Mayweather doing good, my son, we're going to take that, we're we going to give it to him. Yes, sir. Trill Bill in the building. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, indeed. You know what I mean? Representing with the general down here in Texas. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, LBC, sir. Man. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? We're in this thing. Yes, indeed. Peace. 78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. 
So, Devin, the Dream Haney, a.k.a. Black Jesus, a.k.a. Lord Haney, you know what I mean, is set to face Vasil Lomastenko May 20th in uh, seven days from now. You know what I'm saying? It's set to go down to Las Vegas. Make sure y'all be there or order the pay-per-view. You dig? Now, <clears throat> many people have been hitting me up talking about Tank, Tank this and Tank that. I mess with Tank. I like Tank Davis. I ain't got to sit here and lie to you. I'm not no cap a lot. I'm not Sir cap a lot. You know what I mean? Like Shakur Stevenson. I, I'm 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 gonna keep it 100 with you all the time. I like Shakur Stevenson. I like Gerontae Tank Davis. But I mess with Devin Haney very heavy. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney is the next Floyd Mayweather. If there is a next Floyd Mayweather, you see what I'm saying? And and the reason why I say that confidently is because the Mayweathers themselves said that Devin Haney was the next. Tank Davis came around later. Tank Davis is a <clears throat> knockout puncher. He's a great boxer, all that good stuff, but he's a knockout artist. Devin Haney does what Floyd did so well, which is have a high ring IQ, uh, be able to be the master of the ring, okay? He listens very well, and I expect him to go out there and, and put the flu flops on Loma Stanko. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know a lot of Tank fans don't like Dev, you know? It ain't even personal. It's jealousy. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? It's jealousy. Um, they, they they look at Tank as, oh, excuse me, they look at Devin as a threat to Tank Davis. And, and instead of wanting to see the fight to find out who's better between these young brothers, they would rather have Tank avoid him. But I'm hearing Tank saying he wants to smoke. I'm hearing Tank saying he actually wants to smoke with young Devin Haney. And if that's the case, if Tank Davis really, really want to smoke with Devin Haney, then he's not going to back out. He's not going to be – he's not going to uh, uh, fake the funk. But he really wants to smoke with Dev. I welcome that fight as a Devin Haney fan, as a Tank Davis fan. I welcome that fight. And then I say salute to boxing, salute to Tank Davis for stepping up and saying he wants that fight next. So all Devin got to do is come in here <clears throat> and defy the odds because top rank is rigging this fight. They're trying to rig this joint. For Lomachenko to win, we already know that. So hopefully we don't get a bunch of boot licking buck dancers out here pretending like they don't know what's going on. Hopefully, the people will root for Devin Haney to win so that we can see Devin Haney versus Tank Davis. All right. Please don't let me find out people is out here rooting for Lomachenko to win. Please don't let me find out that's what's going on. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty. LDBC, y'all smash the like button, hit the subscribe, also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And I'm about to hit out deuces.